The James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. The Universe Breakers are a peculiar set of six galaxies situated at the farthest reaches of the early universe, where they are not expected to be. Their appearance has left scientists puzzled, leading to questions about the accuracy of our understanding of the cosmos. However, astrophysicist Michio Kaku refutes any misconceptions and firmly believes that these galaxies are in fact black holes. This revelation opens up intriguing possibilities including the potential for contact with extraterrestrial life. So I personally think that we're actually looking at monster black holes where perhaps new laws of physics are emerging. And again, if you can figure all this out, there could be a Nobel Prize waiting for you. <laughs> the discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope, launched in the summer of 2022, has left no aspect of astrophysics untouched. The telescope's first observation unveiled something at the edge of the universe that should not be there. Scientists identified six galaxies so ancient that the time from the Big Bang to their apparent existence couldn't have been enough for them to form naturally. These galaxies exhibit redshift values from 16 to 20z, indicating their existence between 250 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. The validity of this observation leaves no doubt and these points of light indeed exist. As a result, researchers must now reevaluate all previous theories about the origin of the universe and the formation of matter in space. The implications of these discoveries are expected to challenge established laws and theories in astrophysics, earning them the nickname Universe Breakers. Recent developments propose that the light captured in the image originates not from galaxies, but from supermassive black holes. Wait, aren't black holes supposed to be invisible? Yes, that's true. However, black holes gather significant amounts of dust and matter particles in their vicinity, which scatter light and make them visible. The theory that what we are seeing are not galaxies but black holes is supported by popular astrophysicist and best-selling author Mikio Kaku. To grasp the significance of this groundbreaking discovery from the James Webb Telescope, we must expand our knowledge of natural science and particularly the nature of black holes. According to the theory proposed by scientist Sir Roger Penrose, black holes could act as bridges between an older cosmos and a new one within a cyclical universe. The six supermassive black holes may be remnants of a previous universe from which our current one originated. While the concept of a cyclical universe has evidence in the expansion and models for the eventual end of our cosmos, it has not been conclusively proven. Nevertheless, these six black holes at the dawn of time could provide new insights. The possible end scenario for the universe involves mega supermassive black holes gradually absorbing all matter and causing the cosmos to collapse. This leads to a period of absolute timelessness and a physical zero state before being reborn from an initial event. The few black holes that persisted from the previous cosmos might survive this transition, acting as vast information repositories to contribute to the construction of a new universe. While this theory was proposed in 2010 and has some mathematical support, it remains partially unproven. Michio Kaku and other scientists see the presence of supermassive black holes at the beginning of the universe as potential evidence for Penrose's theory, and this opens up a realm of exciting possibilities in the field of black hole research. Each new development in this area sparks sensational news and promises further revelations. Now one might think everything is resolved, but that's not the case. Black holes of such scale should not have existed 250 to 400 million years after the Big Bang, just like fully formed galaxies. It takes a considerable amount of time for black holes to form, as they are usually remnants of dead stars. Supermassive black holes result from the collision and merging of numerous black holes over vast periods. These supermassive black holes can be as large as several million suns. Consequently, we would be observing an enormous collection of dead stars, but even they must have had their own lifetimes before dying. 
this existence of six massive black holes during the cosmic dawn, as scientists have referred to this point in time, is therefore even more astonishing than the presence of six galaxies. Hence, these black holes are also considered universe breakers. As Michio Kaku stated, they introduce an entirely new dimension to our understanding of astrophysics and the evolution of our universe. During the spring of 2023, two more astonishing revelations surfaced concerning black holes. The first one revolves around a significant event occurring near the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A. The massive black hole is attracting an unusual object, leading scientists to express concerns about its potential impact on the entire galaxy. The second discovery suggests the possibility of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations utilizing black holes as enormous repositories for information storage and quantum computing. The peculiar object at the heart of our galaxy initially came to light thanks to the Galactic Center team at the University of California in Los Angeles and the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. Its elongated shape left scientists baffled, as no similar elongated objects were known in the cosmos. Upon closer investigation, it was determined that the object, known as X7, is likely a cloud composed of dust and gas. The research team predicts that this supposed dust and gas cloud, X7, will be entirely consumed by the supermassive black hole within the next decade. Let's explore the latest hypothesis proposing that extraterrestrial beings could use black holes as massive quantum computers. This theory was developed by a research team from Germany and Georgia who sought answers to the Fermi paradox, a question in physics that ponders why we haven't discovered any signs of other life forms despite the vastness of the universe and the likelihood of their existence. Numerous explanations have been put forward for the Fermi paradox, including the possibility that civilizations may be too far apart for communication, technical barriers in recognizing signals from other life forms, or advanced civilizations avoiding contact with less developed ones like ours. The new study assumes that all civilizations in the universe are connected by two fundamental laws, quantum physics and gravitation. By following these principles, it is argued that we should be able to find evidence of other life. According to these laws, black holes are exceptionally efficient at storing quantum information. Consequently, a highly advanced species might utilize black holes as a form of quantum computer. Researchers like Penrose have even suggested that black holes can potentially provide infinite energy for advanced civilizations, including energy from the rotational energy of the accretion disk around a black hole. While our current technology is far from harnessing such capabilities, it is postulated that advanced civilizations could tap into the power of black holes or their accretion disks with ease. The study speculates that aliens, having mastered this technology, would also recognize black holes' potential as information storage and data processing devices. This leads to the possibility that such advanced technology could eventually become commonplace on Earth in the distant future. This line of thinking is not entirely new. Russian researcher Nikolai Kardashev categorized civilizations into three types based on their energy utilization. Type 1 civilizations can harness the energy of their planet responsibly, while Type 2 civilizations can utilize the energy of their star and even begin tapping into other stars. Type 3 civilizations would possess the ability to utilize the energy of an entire galaxy or the universe indicating an unprecedented understanding and control of the laws of physics. As we currently struggle to meet the criteria for a type 1 civilization, we are only at the early stages of exploring the universe. If aliens are indeed observing us, they might find our pursuit of understanding the universe, particularly through powerful space telescopes, quite intriguing. The convergence of science fiction and real science is becoming increasingly evident, with theories and assumptions stretching beyond the conventional rules and formulas learned in school. In light of these developments, one might contemplate the possibility of black holes being eternal and wonder how a computer could simulate the immense power of these enigmatic cosmic entities. Please leave us your comments in the comments section below and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.